Hey, Brian from Garage Mall. Today I have this E-Raptor safe driving backup camera. So let's open it up, take a look what we got, and we will go through a, uh, a demo on how to hook everything up. So right out of the box, kind of have your dash mounting bracket. So that is fully adjustable. So it'll give you kind of an idea. So whatever position you do, you can lock it into place. So we have some insulation guide, monitor position, camera power. So I'll give you a quick idea. It's got an LCD remote, warm up tips. So basic, basic manual, kind of get you through everything. So these are your cables that you can use to hook it up. And then that is your power supply that plugs into your auxiliary. Then this is your monitor that you'll be hooking up. Then here is a more conventional, I guess, uh, windshield mount, a suction cup. If you wanted to do that, that's your little sticky adhesive. So once you find a permanent place on your dash, you can mount that as such. So this is your backup camera itself, and you can tell it's got kind of like a license plate holder here, so you can put that there. And then you are going to be running this through your vehicle or underneath your vehicle. And that's going to be up to you to decide. But you have a generous amount of cable to be able to do that with. And then you have your little remote control, which will do a variety of different features in this. That you can keep it front and dash. But let's put everything back in the case and we'll bring it outside and we will... Uh, We'll do a quick mount and demo of how this works, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. All right, okay, here we're outside. This is our uh, Hummer H2, and it doesn't come equipped with a backup camera. So this is a perfect example of where you could use this camera, or if you have a more modern car that your camera system has failed on, and it's out of warranty, this would be a great example on how to use this. Anyway, so if you go back into the box, we're going to get a couple things out. So we are going to be looking for the rear camera itself. And so that is your license plate holder. You can position this a little bit because this metal is a little on the flexible side. So once you get it set up the way that you want, you can put more of a permanent angle into it. And then what you're going to be doing is this is going to be your license plate bracket. And what you're going to be doing is putting your laces plate on. Obviously, I don't have that for uh, personal safety issues, but we are going to mount these bolts right in here as such. And then that is going to be your, your backup camera. So let me just, uh, I'll make this one a little on the tighter side. Okay, so that way it makes that on a snug side so we get a good view. And then, like, Routing this wire, you can do a couple things. You can mount it behind your license plate and you can route it through here. And then you are going to have the camera connection here. So let's open this up. And then you're going to have the power lead that you're going to be looking for on your cigarette adapter or your power port. And that is going to be connecting in here once we get up to the front. But in the meantime, we are going to be looking for the back part of the cable, which is going to be here. Let's get this untangled real quick. All right, now that we have the two ends separated, what we're looking for, this is going to go up towards the front of your vehicle. This single one is going to go towards the back. And we're going to throw that up in here for now. And we're going to route it through um, the ceiling or the floor, whatever you want to do. That's going to be up to you. I'll just give you some basic tips on how to do that. And then we'll throw all this extra in here. And then this is going to be your connection and it does have a groove on here so we're going to snap that into place so that makes your connection there 
and then what you can do is you can run it through your weather stripping you're gonna have some holes here and there and then on this vehicle we have a gap usually you have a gap and your weather stripping sits on the back here so you can pull this up through and then you can start shoving it underneath some of your your trim pieces as you go along uh, then you can like just route it through wherever you need to just to give you kind of an idea but that's how we're going to have that round and go okay let's go up into the cab all right so while we're up front what we're going to do is we're going to uncoil this and then this is going to be your power adapter so we're going to plug this in here and that will supply power to that and then on the end of your your monitor you're going to basically hook this in together here so your two points line up and then we're going to plug this in to our power port and then we're going to situate the stand Since we're going to have this mounted on our dash, let me just loosen this up a little bit to give a kind of an idea how that moves. And this is going to be our bottom piece. And you're basically just kind of cranking that up. And then you can basically loosen this, and then that will mount that however you need. For our purposes, again, I haven't completed the routing of the wiring. We're just going to do a loose fit till I get it to where I want it. And you can kind of set it up like this. And let's add power to everything. Okay, on the power adapter, it has a, a center button that you push to turn this on. And it'll turn the screen on. So it has a nice bright screen. That to is it. the backup image that you can see from the, the back of the, of the truck. So it's a nice bright screen, and again, you can mount this here, you can mount it on the dash, you can mount it on a window, wherever you need, you can mount it somewhere down on the console if you want it. It's got that adhesive strip that you can put on there as well, but it's a bright clear image that you can see. And then with this remote, it has a little battery in the back, and you pull a little plastic seal out, and then you just hit mode selection, and that will, or menu. And then that will give you a variety of different modes that you can sc scroll through and then that's your system and it also has a feature where if you have a center license plate you can center that up and those would be your uh, your backup guides and every vehicle is going to be different so definitely calibrate that to what you need and then you can make them turn off and then you can also turn it on and off from the remote so if you have it mounted closer up to the windshield, you have good access to that. And then again, you turn that button on, then that turns on. And again, that's a great image of the, the back of your vehicle. You could also set this up for the front of your vehicle if you wanted to. So if you live in an apartment area or a condo where you have to pull up very close to the building and you don't want to hit the front of your vehicle, you can mount this on your front plate and basically do about the same thing. But yeah, what a great camera. Um, Brian from Garage Mall. Thanks for watching and be safe out there.